Hi and welcome back to Old School Rhythm and Blues Guitar. It is time for the Rhythm Chord Lesson. Song Chord Lesson. I don't know what to call this one. It's basically trying to figure out the chords and how they're used in different rhythm and blues songs. While many rhythm and blues songs were pretty simple, one, four, five, some were more swingy, more jazzy. And the one I've picked for this time around is maybe the most complex or one of the most complex rhythm and blues songs ever recorded. It's also one of the dirtiest. It's called It Ain't the Meat by a group called The Swallows. And the guy that plays guitar on this, I uh, can't remember his first name, but it's Money Guitar. Money Guitar Johnson, I think it is. Let me look on my tab. Hang on. I should know this, but I'm doing a bunch of different lessons. I don't have the name on here. I'm pretty sure it's Money Guitar Johnson, who is one of the most underrated rhythm and blues guitarist, I think, of all. He's really good, really cool stuff. And this is, in my opinion, his masterpiece. The song, It Ain't the Meat, I'll let you listen to it and figure out what they're talking about. <laughs> Not a family-friendly song. Uh, but anyhow, the guitar is awesome. It's in the key of B-flat, and there's really two sections to this. The first section is what he plays over the verses, and then there's another section that's played over the bridge of the song, which is played four or five times throughout the song. And it demonstrates something that jazz musicians call rhythm changes. And I'll explain that to you when I get there. Now, the first part, when there's an introduction, and I don't have that tabbed out for you, I think you can listen to that and figure it out. I'm more interested in the little progression that he plays. It's an idea that I think comes from swing guitar, western swing, where you're changing the chords every two beats. And I listened to this over and over and over again over the last couple months, and I'm not 100% sure of what's going on here, but this is my best guess. If you know better, please comment, share with the rest of us. That's part of this channel is to collaborate and figure some of this stuff out that's so cool and that we enjoy so much and that we want to learn how to play. So over the verses, he's singing, it ain't the meat, it's the movement. And he's playing something like this. It's this uh, four chord thing. I'm going to try to tune my guitar down a little bit. What I think he's doing is it's B flat. I think he's playing a B flat F shape. And then he's playing a B flat six by putting the pinky on the eighth fret of the second string. That's what I think I hear on the recording. And then an E flat. Maybe just the, the, the notes on the second, third, and fourth string. Not playing a power chord. He's just getting parts of that. And then right here, I think he shifts to a, what would be a, a, a F9 or an F, oh, what's the chord? There's another word for that chord when you play it slightly differently. So I think he's playing this. Right there. Or you could also play that last chord is a seventh. That would be an F7 C shape. Take a C7, move it between the sixth and eighth fret. That's an F7. So you've got this cycle going on over the verse. He does that twice. And then the next time around, he does this. Very interesting. And this is really more of a jazz type chord change. And what I'm doing is playing that same B flat. And then I'm going to a B flat seventh by putting my pinky not on the eighth fret, but on the ninth fret of the second string. And then we're going to that E flat again. And then we're going to change that to an E flat minor. Listen to this. If you listen very carefully, as he wraps up the verses, the last two times around on the guitar, or the last time around on the guitar, he plays that. So the whole verse goes something like this. That 
last part. I can't tell what chord's being played there, so I'm just using a 7th, an F7th. And then right there is where it's going to head into the bridge. So I tried all kinds of possibilities for that. I tried these jazz chords. That didn't sound right to me. I tried a, what's called a sock rhythm. But I don't think that's it. I'm going from a sixth, a B flat sixth, to a B flat seven, to the E flat. Those are, I tried all those possibilities and I concluded that it's this one. Because I hear those treble strings. That's what I think I hear. That last chord, he may just, he may not be getting the first string as much, something like that. You listen to it, see what you think. And these old R&B songs, some of them were recorded fairly primitively. And sometimes you just can't quite hear everything that's going on. So that is the main verse, the chords. Really interesting, very different. Kind of that swing, jazz type thing going on. And this is from 1951, 1950 or so, so it's not too far removed from the whole swing guitar thing. Come on and hold me.